Apex Legends has fixed its data loss issue, and there's just, just there's just a lot of Fortnite news. All that and more. I'm Ethos, and this is Free to Play Weekly. First off in the news this week, so Apex Legends' most recent update was causing problems for players this past week who were reporting that their account progression were being rolled back to day one. Now over time, Respawn was made aware of this and they were digging deep into it and now I'm glad to report to you guys that not only has this issue been fixed, but it turns out that player progression has also been restored. So if you were one person who ran into this issue or were scared to play the game because of this issue or heard about this issue, you do not need to worry about it anymore. The update wasn't causing players progress to reset set, but it was instead moving their character to a different server where progress wasn't saved. Basically, it was just moving characters back to the right server. And if you made any purchases after the update, but before the fix, do prepare for it to be reverted. And of course, you can find more information about this on Apex Legends Reddit. It's time to add, unfortunately, Breach to the graveyard of games that never made it out of early access. This last week was the last week of official operations for developer QC Games, which will be winding down internal operations on Breach. In an announcement posted on the Breach website, QC Games didn't expressly say that Breach would be shutting down, not yet at least. The only tangible news was that the shop would be disabled tomorrow after a maintenance period. The dev team is quote unquote still working on defining what it means for Breach and for our community with more information to come. There's also been an FAQ which has been posted and also as an update to this, refunds are in fact available through Steam or through QC game support. There of course has still been no word about when this game will go offline officially. And now moving into a lot of Fortnite news. Well, first of all, this past week, Fortnite introduced a cool little introduction into what they're calling the Reboot Van. It's a nice blue van that players can use to recall their teammates if they checked out early. This van will be added in the next update at which time something called Reboot Cards will be added, and you'll need these to reboot your friends. Long story short, if you've played Apex Legends, this system is inspired off of Apex Legends respawn system, which will basically allow you guys the ability to revive fallen teammates later in a match as long as one of you guys remains standing. All in all, even if it was inspired by another game, it's still a great quality of life change. And moving into some interesting news, if you care anything about England's royalty and what they think about gaming and social media, Prince Harry had some interesting things to say about Fortnite. According to his comments at an event at the YMCA in West London, there he believed that there was no benefit to having Fortnite in your house. In fact, he feels it causes extreme issues because, quote, it's created to addict players and keep them looking at their screens for extended periods of time. Because of this, Henry believes that the game should not be allowed. Now, while his comments didn't call for an outright ban of the game, it is interpreted that way. If nothing else, it does imply he'd be happy if the game was somehow barred. Of course, people have been calling for bans on different games for decades, and while they can definitely be addictive, there has continued to be an argument as to whether the actual fault is with the game or just with, as with almost anything, some people who are prone to becoming addicted to them. And finally, in some kind of disappointing news, last week there was a sort of internet outrage revolved around an artist who accused Epic Games of stealing one of their illustrations to use for a skin in Fortnite Battle Royale. Now, the skin in question is the Taro skin, which an artist had accused Epic of stealing based on the art which they uploaded to DeviantArt last year. Now you can see the side-by-side -side comparison right here between the two images of the drawn image and of course the one that's in uh, Fortnite and I think anyone can look at these two things and say yeah there definitely seems to be some sort of plagiarism here. Except that wasn't the full truth. Now, multiple people, and there's been good breakdowns as well on this, have laid out reasoning that concludes that the original art was actually uploaded recently, perhaps days after the Taro skin had been added to Fortnite. DeviantArt only indicates when a piece has been uploaded, not when it has been changed. So it would have been simple matter for the artist to just replace an old piece of art with a new tarot illustration and claim that it was uploaded at the original date months ago. Fortunately, cached web pages indicate that the image in question was indeed uploaded only recently, best illustrated by this tweet. Now this whole thing happened around March 31st, which was the night before April Fools, or depending on the time zone, it would have technically been April Fools. So some people believe that this whole thing was part of an April Fools joke, but even if that is true, I still think that was in really poor taste. And that moves us to our question of the week. And it's based off of this last article. Do you feel that the artist in question should be punished for the false accusation, or do you think it was 
kind of bad but in all in good fun and the artists who made the accusation shouldn't be punished. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And that's it for this week's Free to Play Weekly. Don't forget to check out MMOBomb.com for giveaways and the latest news. My name is Ethos and I'll catch you guys next week.